Hi and welcome to Indigo Wings, I'm Tina and we are going to do New Year's readings to see what energy is coming in for the new year. Um, I felt very drawn to the Goddess decks to do this reading and specifically I will say that I felt very much drawn to Callie so I don't know if she's going to come out in the deck or I've got a message coming from Callie um, specifically but Callie is a goddess she is slightly destructive but think of her as a tool in that she clears the way forward it might be that you know there's stubborn energy around some frustration some maybe some even some worry and what needs to happen is clearing of the path forward Callie is a a goddess of beginnings endings and beginnings so pretty much like the death card um, which is a positive card by the way um, in the fact that some things some chapters in life need to finish need to be sorted out and let go released and then the new comes in so Kali is a goddess of release um, energy I mean she, you know you have can have an understanding of Kali in different manners but I like to think her of her as a goddess she just kick kick ass and kind of like kicks you into touch <laughs> um come on have that type of energy of moving forward and letting go so we have the goddess gods and guardians oracle deck these it's so cold i mean i'm warm now because i've got my heater on but the, the decks are actually freezing because here in the uk it is freezing I'll take because they were all bunched together and when I was trying to move them back they were not wanting to they all wanted to kind of appear okay Koyin kindness and nurturing so making sure that 2023 starts off as a year of making sure that you're right with yourself you have an understanding of what you want going forward i am seeing now it won't go for everybody so take what resonates and leave the rest but it's kind of i'm seeing um when you do those boards so vision boards or you can do a vision journal you can do, write it out whatever form comes to you and and kind of says that sings to me but that's what i'm seeing in it and it's like setting your goals for 2023 but i'm seeing it as a good as something as it needs to start off as very very nurturing and being kind to yourself so some self-care needs to happen right at the start before you set your goals so become in alignment with yourself um we have king neptune sensitivity going over the top of caring and uh, kindness and nurturing so sensitivity growing in your sensitivity can mean that you just can't tolerate the toxins in life you can't tolerate the situations the people um and and, and it's kind of like it is all about recognizing that and becoming very aware of self-care and your boundaries sensitivity means creating boundaries that are healthy for you and that can also mean yourself you know you can be um it's to realize right from the start is to realize what is nurturing to you and where have you set your own personal boundaries for what you want to do for 2023 at the start i will say high priest of the atlantis of atlantis i'm saying that wrong but the chakra healing again more healing energy coming in for the start right at the start of the um, 2023 we've got kindness and nurturing sensitivity and chakra healing this is all about balancing out what you want what your body wants what your mind wants what your spirit wants starting off the year in a self-care mode in a nurturing mode um, to grow and um, get the success that you want i think the key to it is that um, self-care right at the start i am seeing the vision board the vision journaling as well as well for some of you um where you feel that sings to you so again we've got three that popped out and didn't want to separate um ostera now i do say all their names wrong so i do apologize but you know Os ostara fertility 
it's perfect time for you to start new projects, access new ideas and giving birth to new conditions. So again, um, she comes around the um, springtime. Um, so springtime after you've had this very much time, making sure that you are good, um, that you have taken care of what you need to take care of. Your vision in on what you want for 23. Um, but, and we have the fertility where it's it's you start to sprinkle that manifestation in and start to um because you see she's sprinkling down she's putting her seeds down there and they are turning into stars so it's a we are nurturing the what we want right from the start we're nurturing ourselves and then we are planting our manifestation sacred space more nurturing create an altar or visit a power place power yeah place to connect with the divine so connecting with that higher self connecting to um a higher um divinity um and creating time for yourself so that you progress in how you want to progress green tara start delegating ask others including me asking green tara to help you instead of doing everything yourself so realize that 2023 is not about doing everything yourself it is about making sure that you get what you want what you need um in the fact that you are looking after your mind body and spirit um and that can mean delegating out that can mean you can't do all um let's go for this one this is a goddess it's just called the goddess cards because I, I think i got this out of a um, magazine which yeah i got it out of a magazine but there's quite a lot of cards but it's a goddess deck i probably have another goddess deck somewhere So, when the divine phenomenon asks a question, she does not go hunting for the answer. Instead, she invites the answer to find her. And you've just had another card saying, you know, ask the goddess for help. And again, another one, ask the divine for help. So ask for help outside of yourself too, when you're in that sacred space. I speak my life into existence and my voice has power. So it's an empowerment card and belief card in, in your, in you, you know, whatever you create, whatever you put out there, try to enhance it, try to um, be the best that you can be. My voice has power. So your words have power of manifestation. we have a lot of um healing energy nurturing energy but also empowering energy for tw um, 2023 the start of 2023 the new year what's the new year gonna bring so mid year divine passion be honest with yourself what is your true heart's desire what's your true heart's desire when you move past that stage of coming out of maybe feeling like you've been in your sacred space you've connected to the divine you've asked for the help and you've done a lot of self-care self-nurturing doing your vision boards of what you want and you're asking yourself what is your divine passion how can you align with that divine passion we've got a st <laughs> she's come out secondly again it's perfect time for you to start new projects, access new ideas and give birth to new conditions. So obviously a very strong message for some of you for fertility. Now I will say she also obviously um, is now take what resonates and leave the rest. But for some of you, that could mean that there is a birth to come, a natural baby to come um, around you. This could be yourself or someone close to you um, in the new year in 2023. There's a baby being born. But fertility or the thing is just new growth new ideas new opportunity um coming in it's a very strong message for the card to pop out again 
So we have unconditional love. Love yourself, others in every situation, no matter the outward appearance may be. So let go of judgment is let go of judgment of yourself, let go of judgment of others and you live your life for you. Um, is that feeling unconditional love also comes from those very close to you um, often you know um, where it comes from parents or children but or animals even animals give very much pure unconditional love but notice those things unconditional love yourself um, and then we have true love. So for some of you, this is a double message of that love is coming towards you in your life. True love, the romantic stirrings in your heart have propelled the universe to deliver a great love to you. So 2023 for those that are single, um, or maybe you might be in a relationship and it enhances, it goes to the next level, who knows. But for those that are single, there's a message of a love coming towards you in 2023 and i'd say mid-year for that we have aphrodite's that flipped out then um inner goddess awaken the goddess within through dance self-care and appreciation of your divinity divinity so again the start of that message appreciate who you are appreciate self-love self-care all those things that's another very big message for 2023 in this in this message we're off in 2023 um, reading. I will go more in depth with the readings and I will um, have a look, a closer look. Maybe I might even do the star signs, which I have started to do the star signs by the month. But maybe I might do one big reading with each star sign. Who knows? Depends what time I get. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> they kind of went to the bottom there and fell so we have Aphrodite's again eternal love there's definitely a strong message of love in 2023 for some of you um so you know that's a Aphrodite's has come in twice but Aphrodite's is also appreciation of yourself um that inner goddess again it's it's self-care self-nurture um self-love um also is a message there too Adeti. now i never say the names right so uh, <laughs> expand your consciousness so again there is the message of connecting with the div the divine energy um, in a couple of cards so another message for 2023 is connecting to your higher self connecting to the divine energy um, and expanding your own spiritual journey in 2023 now i'm never going to say her name but she is a sun goddess i've been learning all about the sun goddesses because i am doing a tele summit on the 12th um, of this month and I, my mine is um, all about sun goddesses and how transformational energy no more hiding you've got to come out of yourself in some ways i know i'm an introvert believe it or not um <laughs> but no more hiding she is a sun goddess so it's like come out in the sun so yeah mid-year coming out in the sun we're not hiding anymore or is that latter end no maybe it's the latter end of the year i'm talking about there i've just been corrected my spirit so but i'm not saying you're not going to come out anytime sooner than that but it's like no more hiding from what you want i think no more hiding from um what you want to achieve no more playing small is what i'm hearing and we have armatus with that brave spirit she's going out hunting she's getting what she wants um, she has a bold way about her um, so maybe no more hiding along with um, brave spirit going for what you want in, in the latter end of the year for 2023 um, so we'll finish off with one of these and check what's coming in for 2023 maybe the latter end okay 
life provides what I need and who I need when my soul is open and ready to receive. Again, another love message maybe, saying that, you know, when you are ready and I'm open to receiving this new relationship, I'm open to receiving maybe new opportunity, or the new job, new house, whatever it is, I'm open to receiving, my heart's open to receiving. But I would say that's another good love message for some of you, but you can take that in many different ways in that, you know, you know your, your heart's open for change your heart's open for new opportunity coming your way okay that is it for this reading the new year reading um and thank you for watching and i do enjoy your likes subscribes and comments and i shall see you next time bye